हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश ट्यूटोरियल्स आई एम हार्दिक ठक्कर अ फैकल्टी ऑफ इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट एट सेंट जीवस कॉलेज अहमदाबाद टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस पेपर आफ्टर दिस वी विल स्टार्ट आवर सेशन विद आवर फर्स्ट यूनिट एंड आवर टॉपिक वुड बी वॉइस एनालिसिस एंड वॉइस प्रोडक्शन स्टूडेंट्स यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट व्हिच विल पॉलिश यू as a better communicators studying this subject will improve your communication skills which in itself is everlasting benefit whether you want to be a presenter or not to study this paper is to learn a life skill which may enhance your confidence and make you an effective speaker just with following some tips which this paper offers inherently friends radio and television is a subject which may help you understand your ability and potential as a speaker as a presenter or as an announcer in general on studying this paper you will start assessing yourself as an announcer when i say announcer it brings forth a sense of responsibility in it since the term announcer represent a chain a link between the creator content writer and the audience the consumers therefore to be an announcer is a great responsibility it is not an easy task to handle you as an announcer recreate the content by adding life to it and by adding sense to it a script is dead material which writer writes and hand it over to announcer to add life into it so that it can turn into a meaningful and comprehensible expression which can not only be understood but also be felt by the audience therefore an announcer can be defined like this an announcer is anyone who speaks to an audience over radio or television through cable or other closed circuit audio or video distribution or by electronic amplification as in an auditorium or theater now these days singers actors and actresses youtubers play an important role of announcer in india if they perform specific function to be better communicator presenter and announcer you need to develop some qualities in you one of the qualities without which everything else fails is a quality of voice voice plays a vital role for developing your career in media especially on radio and television it is the most important instrument of communication whether or not you enter in the field of announcing you will use your voice daily for the rest of your life you should always give your best to develop the quality of your voice if you are naturally pleasant in your voice even then you can make it better by practice by doing some exercise and by changing some bad habits for example habits like smoking can kill your natural voice if you are dreaming of being an announcer and you have the habit like this you need to quit either one i mean to say either your dream or smoking according to some experts students should read aloud newspapers or other material for improving their voice quality this can bring improvement in the speech personality So student do you know what is speech personality your speech personality is the way you sound that which makes you instantly recognizable when you speak to a friend on telephone a speech personality is made up of seven variables pitch including pitch range inflection pattern volume degree of loudness tempo or rate of delivery vitality and to 
enthusiasm voice quality which includes resonance timbres and tone pronunciation articulation sometimes articulation is referred as diction or enunciation so now let us talk about the voice analysis or voice production which is our first topic of unit first dear students voice can be understood through four elements first is pitch second is volume third is tempo fourth is vitality these four elements make up your voice now let us understand the first element pitch is the property of a tone determined by the frequency of vibration of the sound waves generally speaking low pitched sound voices are more pleasant than high pitched voices but you should always speak in your natural pitch which is most comfortable to you going into extreme either lower pitch or higher pitch creates problem in the speech delivery and proper expression consistently speaking in lowest pitch doesn't leave any space to some selected words which requires lowering pitch whatever your pitch may be but make sure you don't speak consistently in the same pitch to avoid monotony in your speech variety in pitch adds meaning to your expression it adds emotion to your utterance therefore never ever keep your pitch a robot like pitch is determined by the rate of vibration of the vocal cords the faster they vibrate the higher the pitch according to some survey and experiments the vocal cord of a mature woman generally vibrate about twice as fast as those of a mature man so male voices are generally about two times lower than the female voices dear students for having the best quality of your voice you need to find out your optimum pitch the pitch at which you feel most comfortable and are able to produce your pleasant sounds there are several ways you can find out your optimum pitch one way to find it out is to understand the amount of resonance which is produced while you speak resonance is the intensification of vocal tones during speech as the result of vibration in the chief resonators the bone of chest and face the trachea when by larynx connecting the trachea and the pharynx and containing the vocal cords the pharynx between the mouth and the nasal passages the mouth and the nose and the sinuses and cheekbones when you resonate you can feel this vibration quite noticeable alongside your nose one way to find the them is by keeping your palms on your cheekbones and fingers on the sides of your nose then utter some sentences each at different pitch and you will be able to find your optimum pitch during this process students inflection plays a major role in the pitch pattern here inflection refers to the altering of the pitch or the tone of the voice repetition in the inflection generates some voices sing song while the void or the lack of inflection creates monotony in the speech therefore it is always important to bring a variety in pitch to sound meaningful pleasant and interesting to your listener always do practice of speaking with higher pitch and record your voice and not your progress read aloud some paragraphs from any text or materials and do it often until you find your optimum pitch at which you may feel your own speech generating meaningful with a pleasant voice volume level is not a big problem in today's technology aided announcing industry where it is your devices do adjust with your volume level rather than you however if you are learning announcement on the microphone you need to take care of the distance between you and your mic going too close to your mic with a higher volume or keeping much distance from your mic and speaking in lower volume does not serve the purpose but when it comes to showing excitement to your audience you need to raise your volume 
but by creating an optimum distance with your mic you need to keep your volume in a studio as much as you require to talk to one to one i mean you need not to act like a politician addressing the mass act as if you are normally talking with someone who is just sitting in front of you but the same method won't be useful while de- delivering speech outside at some occasion like sports event or political convention there where you need to bring yourself closer to the mic to keep your voice audible with an optimum volume however if you are so close to your mic you are likely to produce popping excessive sibilance or unpleasant aspirate so what is sibilance popping and aspirate sibilance is the hissing sound when speaking words that includes letter like sir sh and sometimes z popping is a blast of air when the plosive sound sounds like a b t d k and g are spoken and lastly to aspire it is to release a puff of breath as when saying words like hun and hiss however in the modern days technology the devices remove hissing popping sibling and aspirate through the filtration but it too removes the higher frequency of voice which is a drawback therefore you need you need to always be as accurate as possible in maintaining distance with your microphone along with the appropriate volume level this comes with practice and practice of announcing on microphone at different occasion and with different subject matter the tempo or the rate of delivery is often determined by the number of words to be read in a given period of time generally newscast and hard sell commercial are read quite rapidly whereas documentary narration or announcement of on popular music stations and institutional commercial are spoken more slowly so the tempo rate depends on the subject matter intention and the need of the announcement but remember the speed in delivery is always the enemy of proper articulation but it doesn't mean you need to go at low speed you always need variation in your tempo and that may bring charm to your speech for that you need practice and practice of speech delivery on different subjects dear students imagine if there are two speakers and both are given the same script for reading aloud but both may differ in terms of presenting vitality or enthusiasm in their speech though vitality can be aided by the rate of delivery but it doesn't always do since speaker can show enthusiasm by keeping low speed or the rate of delivery for this they need to bring their personality to the script by merely copying someone's style will not do for long it may sound artificial the other thing which you can do is to understand and comprehend the mood of the script or the subject matter deeply and deliver the same to your audience so this was about the voice production and voice analysis hope you have found this lecture interesting and useful thank you for watching